Ahoy, shipmates! Bit of a last minute live stream. This one wasn't expecting to be back in port in time. But as it happens, I am. And here we are. Now, I would usually show you some interesting on the screen graphics, but I haven't updated them. So it lets me tell you that that's the Regal Princess departing there. No, I haven't just read the name off the ship's stern. I really was paying attention. <laughs> and what else? Uh, oh, yes, the big one that we're now looking at the stern of. So I'm full of technical terminology there, only the big one. Uh, wait, how do I? Wrong. Do, 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 do. I'll press this button over here. I I'll, I'll go over here. Let's have a look on Netly Cam. Oh, a bit wobbly over there, isn't it? wondering might be wondering why it's a bit wobbly because it's rather windy let's see if we can get an itching cam shall we maybe itching cam will help oh, no itching cam's not really pointing in a very useful direction come on itching cam where are you pointing let's get you pointing somewhere better itching cam's a little bit more stable lots of boating activity out there in the water today been out myself enjoying the, there we go there's regal Princess, there we go. Yep, read that one off the side that time. Uh, she's departing. Well, actually, I don't quite know where she's departing for. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like I haven't prepared for this, isn't it? So that's exactly what it's like. Right, Regal, that's Regal Princess. Uh, and I was like, oh, yes, I, was, I, was, I remember what I was saying that. Windy. Have a quick check of the weather here. Look at that. We have gusting to 30 knots. Really, really quite windy out there. I certainly noticed it when I've been travelling around today, out on the water as well. There we can see Arvia due to depart at 6. And if I go have a look at the map, we will notice that we have Norwegian Prima is hitting reverse and going to the uh, middle swing ground here there we go so she's on her way and then rv at six o'clock and uh, we've already missed i think it was not red eagle not red or spray get there there we go queen victoria so we've missed queen victoria but we have also got some sort of tanker going down there so as well there we go that's what's happening today um and you probably want to see something other than the map don't you so let me Get this camera moved to the right place, and then you can have that. There we go. I'll have a quick look on Netly Cam. Trouble with Netly Cam is Netly Cam's quite exposed, and I can have a quick look at the weather again. Well, the wind is from the sort of south west west, and that does make it quite wibbly wobbly. This is the technical term for the camera wobbling about. So on the top of a tall mast, we do have a couple of guys, which definitely helped. Uh, but once you're over about 20 knots, it invariably wobbles. Itching can, on the other hand, is on a very short mast, bolted to the side of a building, so it's a fair bit more stable. Uh, also, it's, it's Nelly Cam's looking into the sun anyway, so it's not the best of pictures. Just give you a look at that, but you'll see what I mean when I zoom across. There we go. Rather looking into the sun. It's been a sunny day. Oh, what's the temperature? You look at the temperature. 21.5. I would say it feels a deal warmer than that, but... It might. Maybe it's just the sort of humidity or something. As you can see, there are lots of yachts out on their swing moorings. Not quite sure which club they belong to over there. That might be the... I'm not sure. One of the clubs. Maybe it's the one over in Hyde or something. Yeah, I can really see the trees. I'm looking on cruise cam and there's some trees you can see from cruise cam and they really are blowing about today. Look at those, all those pleasure craft out there enjoying that. Looks like an Axopar just coming up there. Quite sure what that one is next. Hmm. Difficult to tell. Also be an old fair line, I would think. Could be a sea line there. Tricky that sort of distance. And if we look on cruise cam, you can see that tanker that I was talking about. It's halfway down Southampton water. Ah. My headphones have just told me it's power off time. Interesting. Uh, 
Right, let's have a quick look, see who's in the chat. Oh, holy shit, mates. We've got quite a few in the chat. Good to see you at such a late and spontaneous broadcast. Good for you, shipmates. Uh, we are here to see three cruise ships. Cause we've missed Queen Victoria. Uh, we will see uh, ever so shortly Norwegian Prima. She's on the turn in the swing ground. And Arvia, that's the bow of Arvia, so we can see her there quite easily. And this is Regal Princess going down south under water. Uh, Arvia due to pass at six, and like I say, Norwegian Prima already on the move. So they're quite thick and fast this evening. Luckily, I managed to get back in time. Hoi oh, there, Ellie Burley. Oh, and shipmate Lynn Sivright says, uh, could I put the cap? So I can put the camera on deck 12 on Arvio, please. Oh, okay, right, I'll have a look at that. Let me move that across. And then I'll go back. Oh, yes, a little sailing boat out there. Very close to that power boat, wasn't they? Seems rather necessary. Let's have a look. Deck 12. Um, deck 12, whereabouts, shipmate? Because they're quite long, the decks. Are we talking fore, aft, or mid aft, or mid fore, or mid? Deck 12, deck 12, somewhere in the middle, if memory serves me correctly. Maybe they'll be obvious. Maybe they'll have something flying out of the window on the balcony. Maybe a towel or a flag or something like those Canadian people that we keep saying, keep seeing rather. I can't see anyone. And we'll scroll down the decks. Let me just go back and have a quick look what did she say shipmate Barry Finch got off Arvia this morning had a great two weeks around the Mediterranean oh, excellent good to hear that shipmate yes that's right you've come back from a two week Mediterranean cruise you've come back from a two week Mediterranean cruise to frankly Mediterranean weather in the UK Your timing is fantastic oh welcome shipmate Smell cells. Quite sure how you pronounce that. Smell cells. Welcome aboard. Many thanks for subscribing. Regal Princess. Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent spell edging in. Is informing us that Regal Princess is off on a 12 night British Isles cruise via St. Peter Pork, Cork, Dublin, Liverpool, Belfast, Greenwich, Invergordon, Leith, and Le Havre, France. I'm not sure that Le Havre, France is part of the British Isles, but you never know. Perhaps we're expanding our. Empire at last rather than shrinking it. That there is the steamship shield hall. She applies her trade around the Southampton waters. You can buy tickets to go on board. They often have a jazz band and the barbecue. And she goes up and down Southampton water specifically when the cruise ships are in. So you can get a jolly good view of them, have a nice day out. I wholeheartedly recommend that. I think I've done a few videos of um, shield hall. So look, uh, deck twelve of Lynn Siv. Right, so she hasn't updated me. We're about to life. We've had a little look further down, maybe on deck twelve. So it's all going on this evening, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. Um, have a quick look on Nor Norwegian Prima. Norwegian Prima, she is just turned now, so she's heading out. So she'll be on camera shortly. So I've only got a few minutes left with the camera until. Need to follow Norwegian Prima. But now I'm just having a little nose of here to see if I can see anyone on deck 12. Not sure which deck deck 12 is, if I'm honest. I think it's roughly in the middle. There are some people, but. It's a very long deck. You can do it with a bit of help. There's some people there. I wonder if it's those. And it's annoying me at uh, cruise cam. It appears to be on a bit of a go slow. It's like it's striking. It's also not focusing. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, there we go. Gosh, it does take its time, doesn't it? You know, some shipmates there enjoying the lovely sunny 
departure. They're probably getting a view of Regal Princess. No, not Regal Princess. That's just gone. Sorry. I mean, Norwegian Prima. She'll probably in view. That's probably what they're watching. As you see, a lot of shipmates out on their cabins. Let's go back to Regal Princess. Gosh, look at all those girls. Yeah, I need a bit more of a clue, shipmates, than uh, just Deck 12. Alvia is a very large ship. Had a ferry come in today that we haven't seen in port, in port before. That's the new ferry for, I think it's the Isle of Man. Um, basic, being <laughs> based that it's called the Manx Man. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? There is his imports, which came in port to yesterday, I think. I'm not sure he's leaving. I will try and get some droning in, but I don't know if that'll be a possibility or not. First time in port, a brand new ferry hasn't even reached the Isle of Man yet, so we are privileged to see her first. All right, let's get this camera where it needs to be for the import. The, uh, for the about for the arrival or the arrival on the screen I should say not for the arrival because she's departing of Norwegian Prima ah oh, shipmate Paul Thompson uh, says decades promenade deck uh, with the whirlpools on the side yes excellent excellent information there shipmate I'm um, just not quite sure whereabouts on on ship that is that's an awful lot Oh, hot ship it will be filmed, says yes, get her Max Man drone captain. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought you might uh, be interested in that one, shipmate. I thought that'd be rather amusing if I get to drone the Manx ferry before you do. <laughs> uh, will be filmed. He lives up on the Isle of Man and does lots of droning of ships up there. He's got a good channel, check him out. Will be filmed. And uh, yes, I'm sure when he has the opportunity he'll be getting us some coverage of the Manx Man. Right. That's cool. There's some, uh, some looks like some illegal speeding activity there in the port, in the, uh, port area there. Looks like a little jet ski or powerboat going way too fast. Should be a six knot limit just at that point. That was clearly faster than six knots. Yeah, look at the wind. It's really affecting the camera. Itching cam is on quite some zoom. I wonder how Netly Cam's doing there. How would Netly Cam do? Netly cam. Let's have a look at it. I can see the ship coming on Netly cam. Zoom Netly cam over to the port. Yeah, there we go. That's some sort of ship there. Norwegian Prima hiding behind the grain towers at the dockhead there. Oh, we have our chaps out on our foiling surfboards with their kites those chaps are amazingly skilled at trying to fly a kite and hydrofoil a surfboard while not falling into the water they do fall into the water but do a pretty good job of missing it most of the time you can see the shadow of the bow of the norwegian prima and you can see the wind blowing the trees around there very unusual to have such windy conditions this time of year. And there is Norwegian Prima. And again, I haven't just read the name off the bow. Honestly, did know. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a tug coming back as well. I didn't notice, but I don't think they had tugs uh, helping them off which sort of surprised me considering the speed of the wind, although the wind would have been blowing them back on to the quay, so maybe that's not a problem, although I wouldn't be surprised if Arvia has some tugs. Let's well, we'll wait and see, won't we? Arvia's due to part any moment now, so I think we'll just have Norwegian Prima sail by for a few seconds, and then hopefully 
Norwegian uh, RV will depart shortly afterwards. So, oh, thick and fast today, shipmates. Is that me, or does that look like there's some sort of water slide down the side of that ship? I have to have a zoom in. There is, isn't there? It's not my. No, it's not my eyesight. That that is definitely a water slide in the middle of the ship. Hmm. I would say I'm now very tempted to take a cruise on Norwegian Prima now. They've got a water slide in the middle there. Or is that just a way for the room service to get to your cabin quickly from the buffet? Of course your buffet may arrive shaken and not stirred. Lovely day for departure in the Port of Southampton. You'd have that Mediterranean feel, wouldn't you? A bit of a mistral blowing through the port at the moment. A distinctive stern on Norwegian paper reminds me of another cruise ship. I can't think which one it is. Uh, they refer to it as the DA. Some of the knowledge knowledgeable shipmates might be familiar with a DA style haircut. view right, let's get the other camera moved across i think i'm going to switch to itching cam now because that makes more sense itching cam is not so wobbly yeah there we go excellent gosh i must say it's warm in my cabin right uh, what's going on in the chat uh, oh yeah norwegian prima thank you uh, shipmate mark g gives me information norwegian prima off on a 11 night cruise one way cruise no less to Reykjavik, Iceland via Zeebrugge, Amsterdam, Bergen Granger, Olsund Osapor and Okriri I'm sure I've mispronounced quite a few of those so up to the fields and up to Iceland that is a slightly different a one way cruise uh, shipmate Paul Dobson was telling us that uh, some of the one way cruises do offer you a, a bit of a cheaper bargain Paul Dobson is from our sort of channel sponsor, Love Cruise. If you have any queries about cruising, uh, follow the link in the description or type it into your computer. Head on over to Love Cruise and he'll Paul hook you up with some information about cruising from the Port of Southampton and elsewhere, of course. Oh, look at the bow. Now you get a really good view of the bow here. We couldn't really see it from cruise cam because we want a slight angle. But you could certainly see it here on itching cam, can't you? Not only is the bow vertical, in fact, it's slightly pointing backwards. And that is a, that's one of the Y tugs in the yellow and the SS shield hall coming past. Giving a, giving a excellent view to the shipmates on board of the cruise ships and traffic here in the Port of Southampton. It looks like a customary cloud of smoke going from SS Shield Hall. She does have, I can't remember now, but it's some crazy number, something like 13 boilers on board or something. And uh, She was powered by coal, but now she's powered by oil fired. But even so, there's, I, I, I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember, it's something like 13 boilers or something. Like a crazy amount of boilers to power the ship. But she's run by volunteers absolutely wonderful inside all brass all polished and lots of lovely wood and they're quite happy to show you around the ship give you a tour of what's going on and show you about let's have a quick look at avia all those lines still present can't see anything being dropped 
keep an eye on that because that's that's our first clue that should be departing is when we see, that, see those lines being dropped. So I'll just keep an eye on that for a moment. We'll go, we'll cut back to Norwegian Prima as she goes down. So that's water. Graphics on the hull of Norwegian Prima. Nope, that's SS Shield Hall. Wrong ship. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, I think the chap's Cleland or something. Wolland Cleland or something. It's been a bit of a while since I read about it. He's, I think he's painted all the graphics on Norwegian ships. Certainly distinctive. Ends a bit of colour. and Very distinctive bow and stern. Generally all round. A quite an interesting ship. The Norwegian Prima. Oh, well, shipmate Michelle Roberts says, Captain, are you going to cover the live departure of Disney Dream leaving as we'll be on leaving the same day? Oh, uh, probably shipmate. I can't remember when that is. I'll have a quick look. I would imagine I would be. I just need to check my, my own personal movements. Just compare those to the shipping movements and to see if they correlate. Let's have a quick look unless you can tell me. Oh, one of the shipmates saying that is a water slide. I, I, may I was thinking perhaps it was something for fast delivery of room service, but no, perhaps it's not. Then perhaps it's just a water slide. Uh, Disney Dream departs on twenty second of July. Okay, oh yep, twenty second of July. Thank you, Michelle. Twenty uh, second of July. But I think that's a possibility. I'm not sure I'm doing anything on the twenty second of July. Have a quick check. Make sure I'm not. Boating somewhere exciting. Mm, that's a Saturday. Oh, that looks quite good. Yeah, I'd say that's highly likely, shipmate. I, and I know that I will always try and cover a Disney ship because they are very popular on the channel. When we've uh, gone down to Mayflower Park at different times, they there's often there's often people coming in. Oh hello, just whiz over here. We've got some lines coming in on Arvia. So it looks like Arvia is definitely due to depart shortly. See that line coming in the right hand side, just about to come in. Yeah, so I think oh, yes, I've been to Mayflower Park uh, when the ships departing. You always get a handful of people coming to watch the cruise ships depart, and when Queen Mary two departs, I would say you get quite a few more. I'm coming down to the port to watch Mayflower Park. Oh, look at the rooster tail on that. But when the Disney cruise ships depart, we get a lot of people coming into the port and in Mayflower Park to watch them. So, yes, they're a very firm favourite, especially with the very tuneful horns. So, yeah, we'll definitely be looking out for that. Oh, shipmate Cat Edwards says thoroughly recommends SS Shield Hall, especially for the Bournemouth Air Festival from Paul Key. Good point, shipmate. Yes, excellent, well made. Bournemouth Air Festival takes place over the sort of Bournemouth Bay area, over the water. You get the best view from being on a ship. And like uh, our shipmate Cat Edwards, Cat Edwards has just told us, the Bournemouth Air Show can be visible from there. So you get your double whammy of planes and ships on the same day. Uh, if you could take the train down to Bournemouth, down to pool, then you could do trains, planes, and ships. That'll be quite a day. I hope to get down to the Bournemouth Air Show myself. I'll have to look that up and see when it is. Shipmate Andy Esom says, just viewed a video of the slide, it drops 10 floors from deck 18. Mm, that's going to mess your breakfast up by the time you get to the bottom, isn't it? Ship, <laughs> oh, I rather blue spanner. Uh, Mark G is taking his... Uh, Stoke flag when you set sail. I have to look out for that ship, mate. I'm not sure what a Stoke flag looks like, but I'm sure it'll be fairly identifiable from uh, one of the cameras. 
if you do happen to have some sort of flag you can fly it does make it a lot easier for me to find you on the balconies we have got a shipmate on Arvia and if all the information I've got is deck 12 which I know where deck 12 is but it's such a long deck being a massive ship it takes quite a while to find someone and there's lots of people there it's not particularly clear stick something over the railing like the towel if you can or, or, or a flag of your liking and uh, make life a lot easier here we go it looks like the lines all the lines are dropping now yep all the lines going in you can see quite a few people out in the bow cabins I mean, in fact if you look in the background just about to see Norwegian Prima departing in the background look at that excellent we had Queen Mary 2 on the screen for a long time uh, yesterday no hang on no Friday she uh, had a bit of a medical emergency so I had to wait just off of cows while the lifeboats came in and there we go there is Arvia lines coming in and already hitting reverse lots of shipmates on the balcony so moving and haven't got those lines in There we go, almost all in. Let's have a whole look at Arvia. There we go. There is Arvia, Pino Arvia, a sister ship essentially to Pino Iona. Uh, she's going slightly forwards now. Must have just been the, the wind blowing her backwards slightly. I'm not quite sure where Arvia is off to, if I'm, if I'm honest. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can find this information out. Sometimes I can. Tricky for me to tricky for me to fit this all in. No, can't can't see it. I suspect she's off on a Mediterranean cruise. Oh, I see her something on the deck there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I suspect she's off on a Mediterranean cruise. That's where she's just come back from. One of our shipmates. I've forgotten the shipmate's name. He was. Oh, that's something very big and red, isn't it? got to be well, that's very noticeable i'm very impressed with that whoever that if that's one of our shipmates let's see what are they flying then like the red flag of I'm sure where that's what well, it's a red flag of um oh, i see it's i think it's some sort of football team Mm. Football knowledge is weak. Good effort, though. Oh, I've got a Union Jack as well. Oh, we've got all the flags are flying today. See what I mean? It's very much easier to see what's going on when people are flying flags. <laughs> I think that's Liverpool Football Club, isn't it? I'm sure someone will correct me if I have that wrong. Excellent. Well done, shipmates. I like that display. It's very patriotic. Let's have a quick look down the decks. Because we do have a shipmate on deck 12 somewhere. And plenty of waving going on. The so deck 8 to promenade deck. That's at the bottom. And then we've got deck 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, yeah, it's about in the middle. There's just so many people in the middle. I think that's the deck below the people waving with the Union Jack, I think. Maybe not. 
Let's have a quick scan down here, see if we can see anything going on. Lots and lots of shipmates on the balconies. I'm not surprised. It is a very sunny day today in the Port of Southampton. Hello, I can see some waving, I feel. It's very slow waving. It looks back about deck 12, do you think? That might be deck 12. Camera's having a bit of a go slow. I think it's all this hot weather's made it... Uh, Decide not to focus very well. Come on, camera, focus, focus, come on. You crazy little camera. I'll send you back to China. Look careful. Definitely some waving going on there. Oh, I think someone's looking at their phone. Oh, there's a good chance I think there might be chat. There we go. Don't forget there's quite a long delay between the camera being on the camera and being on your phone. It's something like about 20 seconds. So that's why they'll sort of look a bit slow and then they'll start waving manically when they realise they're on they're on the screen. <laughs> I think they've got I think they've twigged now. Excellent, it's like a circular wave on that one. Very impressive. Yeah, there's a whole host of people out on their decks, aren't they? All all enjoying the lovely sunny departure weather of the port of Southampton. Yeah, look at that, see it's like a motion, it's like a wax on, wax off. Very good. I think that might be our shipmates. Back this way with this other camera. Yes, yeah, certainly warm in my cabin. Are we? What's our current weather looking like? Uh, we're just over 21 degrees, 22 knots of wind gusting, and uh, constant speed of 14 knots. But you're very close to requiring a tug assistance, but perhaps we're just in the right direction. There we go. I'll have a quick look back at the chat to see what's going on, to see if that's... Uh... Shipmate Ellie Burley spotted some waivers. Excellent. Uh, Paul Dobson said that deck 12 theoretically is the deck below the waivers. Yeah, here we go. So, who knows? Who knows which waiver was what? But we've got some waivers, that's what's important. Uh, oh, excellent. Mark G's filled in with some data. We're off on a 14 night Mediterranean cruise, I thought as much. Down to La Coruna, Valencia, Marseille, Barcelona, and Cadiz. And you'd be departing in Mediterranean style weather today. RV is just backing out here. I can, I can zoom in a bit more. Unfortunately, my view gets slightly obscured by buildings. But if you can see, she's just starting to turn now. She'll turn around, head the other way, uh, and head on down at the port. Southampton Water out to the Isle of Wight. Shipmate Caroline Henderson says, looks like a fab night. Yeah, I think you're right, shipmate. I think you'd be really enjoying that. I'd recommend some of the bars on the stern. I can't remember their exact names now, but all the bars on the sterns would afford you a lovely sunny view of the water as you head down Southampton Water, and you'd be able to have indulge in some rum-based cocktails. Shipmate uh, Caroline Henderson says that she is on Arvia next, so I think next Sunday. Sunday the 9th of July. I think that's the time she'll be back. Can't wait, and she'll be waving like a she'll be waving like mad in two weeks' time. Excellent shipmate. That's all we like to hear. Like I say, if you do want to wave and 
It does help if you have a flag or something, or even just a towel from the cabin, frankly. Just something that makes it slightly easier for me to spot you. Because as you can see, looking at the ship now, the people are very small on their balconies. It's quite difficult to work out who's who's and where people are. This is the last departure for this evening. Regal Princess. Well, Queen Victoria has already left. Regal Princess is, I would imagine, down near Cowshot somewhere now. Have a quick check on that. No, she's past Cowshot. She's round, rounding Bramble Bank, and Norwegian Prima is down by the. So refinery. A few more shipmates popped up on this side. Six o'clock departures are probably ideal. You can get out to your balcony, have a good old wave, and then head on down to the buffet. Ah, shipmate for this world says, Will I be covering Britannia on Friday? I would say that's likely. I would say that's likely. Uh, does does depend sometimes on whereabouts I am, but yeah, but it would seem quite likely. Are you travelling, Vanessa? Shipmate? What's this here? Oh, I think that might be a. Is that one of the ferries? I think one of the ferries is yes, middle spray. Yeah, I'm right, talking to myself, aren't I? One of the ferries has. Is that? There we go. If I switch up here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yep, there's one of the ferries waiting to come in. She's just waiting for Arvia to finish her spin. Oh, yes. Shipmate, ship, shipmate for this well says she is on uh, Britannia Friday on the corner stern. Excellent shipmate. Well, I hope to do a ship's TV. If not, I'm sure we'll follow the ship anyway. But yes, that'll be wonderful to see you there. Give you a, give you some a zoom in time if you happen to be waving on the corner stern. It should be nice and easy to spot you as well. I don't know where you'll be birthed. Do you know, do you know where your birth is? Probably 106 if you're on Britannia on Friday. Let's have a quick check, shall we? Quick check, come on. Quick check's not very quick if it doesn't check. <laughs> Britannia, Britannia. 46 birth. Ah, Ocean Terminal. Oh, well, we can probably see you while you're actually docked. So, yeah, give us get out there. Let us know when you're out on your balcony, shipmate, and we'll have a zoom in while you're actually in port. Be a lovely steady picture then. You see RV is still backing out. You can see the wind on the tree there at the bottom of the screen. It is quite gusty and there. And also you can now just about see the red fu red funnel, red osprey lurking around waiting for Arvia. They're not too happy about the f red funnel ships passing while they're turning, so they do ask them to wait. They do ask for permission as well, so it's all very very etiquette driven and very polite but sometimes they like people to wait oh shit they pulled up and need some sort of ships flags we do we do we do this is a good thing that's something i need to work on oh, i can't there's a on this youtube there's a new thing which i don't like it puts a heart emoji thing in the bottom right corner of the screen i can't see what anyone says Ridiculous placement. So, you know, Vanessa Wells says something, but I can't see what it says. Definitely will be something oh, arriving in the breeze, Captain. Hmm. Well, we shall keep an eye out for you, shipmates. Caroline Henderson is a shipmate who's counting down. Seems to be a familiar tale of shipmates counting down to their departure dates. Our shipmate Anthony Blixey says, any ships parting tomorrow? An excellent spell of Blue Bay says, the Ada Prima is departing. Not 
Oh, bit of building. Don't want the building. If you happen to be on that Red Funnel Ferry that's coming in here, this must be the 5.30 departure from Cows on the Isle of Wight, you'd have had an excellent view. You might well have seen Queen Victoria. Certainly you would have seen Regal Princess and Norwegian Prima, and now you're seeing RVO. So you possibly saw four cruise ships. If you coordinate your days out, shipmate, on the Isle of Wight with a little trip on the Red Funnel, I couldn't ask for a better way to go ship spotting. So even on, even though those ships there look really close, if I switch over to Netley Cam, you can see the Red Funnel Ferry just there on the left-hand side of the screen, and you can't see Arvia. It's amazing how the different angles give you a completely different perception as to what's going on, because that looks really close, doesn't it? You think to yourself, oh, they're quite close. They might not be too far away, but if you look on that camera, they're a long way away, probably half a mile. You can see now that Harvey is just ever so slowly going forwards. And ship it. Mark G says Red Osprey. That's the name of the ship there. Indeed. Oh, shipmates. Gordy and Carol said their friends are on deck 12. They should have been there too, but had to reschedule. Oh, that's a shame, shipmate. I hope you can travel another time. Someone says that uh, Eddie Burley says Red Osprey is going backwards. Yes, it looks like she's just nudged it back slightly, probably just to give Arvia a bit more space. Just moving around. It's much easier for a vessel to keep moving in one direction rather than to be completely stationary. I think stationary is quite hard. Although with uh, some of the small modern pleasure craft, they have GPS technology which allows them to stay in place. Although I don't think that applies to commercial ships. Imagine some of the commercial ships that you see down at Seaworks, probably. The Seaworks is an exhibition down in Mayflower Park. It's currently underway. I imagine quite a few people would have that sort of technology for going out to the wind turbines. Normally, control. Normally requires engines with complex propulsion systems that pod drives and so on. I die, I, I die, <laughs> digressing. There we see Arbia is off. Look, I can see another flag. Just spotted it. And what have we got here? A reddish flag. I can't tell at the moment what it is. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, they've taken it down just as I focused and got to the right point. They take the they take the flag down. Oh, that's a blasted shame. <laughs> oh well. Oh, now they come back out again. There we go. What is that then? What is this flag? Or is it someone's shirt or? A top or a dress. I think they're just waving something like it. But because you can see shipmates, it's very distinctively clear, isn't it? Much easier to spot something being waved if you've got a flag. There we go. Oh done, shipmates. It's a good way to let your friends and family back know that you're safely on board waiting for that trip to the buffet to occur in the next probably half an hour you're just getting all smartened up add yourself a little shower 
probably pop down for rum based cocktail available from many of the 18 bars that are on the board Arvia. I think it's 18. If it's the same as Iona, it would be about 18. And certainly in this weather, you get to utilize all the barns that are on barns, no, the bars that are on the stern. I'm just getting to the stern. Be there shortly. We'll have a check in, shall we? And see what's going on. Here we go. Here's the stern. You can see some shipmates there in the infinity pool. There's two infinity pools, one at sort of three quarters of the way up, one at the very top. And there's people in the infinity pool having a jolly good time. I think it's a fantastic feature. There we go, let's focus that last. There we go, you can see there's three or four shipmates there in the pool. Wonderful view. The Port of Southampton, and there's another infinity pool at the top of the screen there. Can't see anyone in that one. There's uh, several bars in this area. Various different levels. All with a great view of the Port of Southampton. Gosh, I can see someone vaping from this distance. Can't believe that's healthy with a massive cloud of vape like that, surely. <laughs> Looks like some sort of special effects smoke machine. Now we go back over to Itchin Cam. Ah, what's going on in the chat then? Shipmate Mel Melanie Clark wants to be in that pool at the moment. Yes, quite agree. I think there'd be a lovely day in that pool. They're they're not cold. They're pleasantly warm, so you'd sit in there. And I think you'd even get you'd even drink your cocktail in that pool as well. Here comes that ship. I think that might be a Mm, that might be a sea line, a little pleasure boat. Oh, shipmate Tracy Reese says, does the water go over the cabins when they are in the infinity pool? No, it doesn't, shipmate. It looks like it does, doesn't it? But when you actually get closer to the pools and have a look, there's a big, uh, like a sort of trough in front of the infinity pool with another glass screen, and it's a good... I don't remember now, sort of four or five feet away. So so any water that splashes over gets caught in a secondary trough. So no, I'd imagine if someone was outrageously splashy, they might get some water down, but essentially no, there's no no water splashes off into the cabins, although it does look like it, but I think it's a clever piece of design. My right, shipmates, I think that about sums it up for this evening. A quick broadcast this evening, just back in time. And I can't see who is that then. Is that Shield Hall? I'm going to go back to Netley. I know that's not Shield Hall. I'm not sure. There must be a tanker. Very silhouette though, isn't it? Look at that real contrast between the ships there. Right, shipmates, hope you enjoyed that. Everyone is off on a safe journey. No dramas so far, unlike uh, Friday, where we had a medical emergency for Q Queen Mary 2. There we go, we can see, oh, I think it's Wittonia or UKD. Let's have a look, I can 
Well, me just guessing, why don't I just tell you? It made more sense, wouldn't it? Mm. UK debriefing. There we go. RV are off on a 14 night cruise around to the Mediterranean. We could just about see, I imagine that's if you look on cruise cam, on the right hand side, in the very, very distance, you can see, I think that's Regal Princess. Or it could be Norwegian Prima. Let's have a quick look at the map. I can tell you which one that is. Yeah, that's Norwegian Princess. No, sorry, Regal, Regal Princess. Norwegian Princess, I've just made a new cruise lineup. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, shipmates. And thank to all the uh, Blue Spanner crew for doing such an excellent sterling job in the chat. I'll continue following on the ships as they go down Southampton Water. Many thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do think about subscribing. Also, many thanks to my Patreon donors and PayPal donors. Just a big thanks to all you shipmates for being on board. Well, from a sunny and windy port of Southampton, I should bid you farewell. Until next time.